guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video today I'm gonna talk about seven reasons why I unsubscribe to people and I did not come up with this idea I got this idea from Ella S here on YouTube and I will of course link her channel and her video in my description box I highly suggest I highly suggest you guys to check her out she is so beautiful and she does so incredibly good videos I do really enjoy so if you are not following her I really suggest you guys to check her out but before I get into my seven reasons I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel I put out new videos almost every single day sometimes seven times a week sometimes six times a week but let's get into the video so before I get into the video I feel the need to do a disclaimer and I fucking hate doing disclaimers I don't know but it feels like I have to say this because otherwise people are gonna jump on me but I'm not trying to bash anyone I'm not trying to tell you guys to subscribe or unsubscribe to people just because I have done it I'm not telling you to do anything I'm just doing this because I think that it was a very fun video idea if you don't like it then don't watch it if you're gonna be offended don't watch it and I'm not gonna mention any names I'm not gonna mention anyone so if you're here for the tea this is the wrong channel you can just head on to drama channels but now now let's talk about the first reason why un I unsubscribe to people and the first reason is very basic it's that I don't like their content anymore and this has happened to me a lot I have subscribed to people and then along the way when they are growing or if they're just staying on the same lane because sometimes that happens sometimes you are not going anywhere you you stand on 1,000 or 500 or um, 80,000 for a while and sometimes they change their content on their um, or in their videos say for instance that I'm following someone because they ha have a kick as review channels and they start to do vlogs I don't think that I would subscribe to that person so if that happens I unsubscribe for instance Stephanie Nicole here on YouTube is known for her reviews she goes down to every single thing that you need to know but if she started to do vlogs only vlogs I would not sub be subscribed to her I think because I wouldn't like that content from her so that is the first reason and yeah I'm realizing that I mentioned the name but it was in a positive way so I think that's all right number two and this has actually happened to me when people are rude for no reason and I'm not talking about people that are rude in the comments because I can state my opinion and you can state yours and there will be a lot of dickheads everywhere but if you are a youtuber and you are rude to me for no reason why do you think that I would keep on being subscribed to you that's just weird I actually had a guy who was very rude to me I left a comment and this person was so fucking rude to me he was like well you don't have to fucking watch my videos go out of here blah 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 and I was like okay I am subscribed like that I have not watched a single video that he has put up I have not done anything regarding his channel I was just no I'm gonna un unsubscribe because I, I I don't buy that number three and this has happened a lot recently and I'm I hate it too many ads I don't have any ads on in my videos because it's not gonna generate any money I don't think that I as a smaller channel a very small channel would benefit from that so I don't have any ads except for the YouTube ads that I can't control but I think that if you have a YouTube channel and you have a 15 or 20 minute long video have a have an ad that's fine have an ad in the middle or in the start or in the end I don't care when you put out a 15 minute long video and you have 10 ads and this has happened a lot I'm not just making stuff up this has happened to a lot of the youtubers that I follow then I am unsubscribing when I see those yellow spots all over I'm unsubscribing if you have a 30 minute video have two ads if you want to I don't care but when you have 10 or 8 fucking ads in your video I don't buy that shit I can't watch that sometimes I do watch videos when I do my makeup and that is so easy for me to just click away from the ad but sometimes I'm doing my dishes I was watching a who was it Atlas video today I actually did a video uh, I did the dishes this morning and I watched her video and she had an ad pop up she had a 45 minute long video and she had an ad and I was like okay that's fine I think that that is all right but sometimes when I'm doing the dishes there's ads 
that is two minutes long. And if I'm doing the dishes, I have to uh, wipe my hands off and, and everything. And then I need to click away from the ad. <laughs> then two minutes later, there's a new ad. Then I'm like, you know what? I'm not even gonna watch this video because it definitely, I can't deal with that shit. I just wanna watch a video while I'm doing the dishes. Why is that so freaking hard? As I said, have one ad or two ads if you want to, but I think that when you are adding 10 ads to your video, I think that that will actually make you make less money than more money. Because I think that less people are gonna watch the video or they're gonna click away from the video because they feel the same way as I do. Number four is when people don't apply to comments. I'm not talking about all of the big YouTube gurus or the biggest channels with millions of subscribers because they get a lot of comments. I'm definitely not talking about them. But if you have, say for instance, that you have 5,000 subscribers and you get 30 comments, you don't have to answer the comments that are spams. You can just delete those if you want to. You don't have to answer an ad or a comment if it just says nice or good video. But when a, when a person is responding to something that you have put up in your video, it might be that they are replying to a question. It might be that they are commenting on something you said that they had a same experience on or a different experience on. It can be something regarding the video. And when you don't respond to that, when you don't acknowledge me, I'm like, why are you even doing this? If you don't want to respond to me when I'm taking the time to write you a comment, why can't you respond to me? I'm not saying that I'm, I'm unsubscribing like that if you don't respond, but if it happens on a day-to-day -day basis, when I'm like, this is a person that I really, really enjoy. I comment a lot on those persons that I really enjoy. I comment a lot on, th on their videos that I really enjoy. I, I, I really want them to respond. And if they don't, I'm like, okay. And I can see some people don't respond to any comments. I, I, I know a person that I really enjoy. She has, I think she has 2000 subscribers. She doesn't respond to any of her comments and I'm like, why are you doing this? So I'm actually thinking of unsubscribing to her because that's not cool. Number five is when people are updating to Rare. I know this girl, she has amazing quality on her videos. She has amazing content and she is beautiful. She's smart, she's intelligent, she's good at makeup but she updates like once every two months. There's so much lost potential there. I am still subscribed to this particular person because I'm always hoping that she will come back. But in every video that she puts up, it's like, well, this and this has happened. So it's, you know, it's excuses after excuses after excuses. Then she's like, well, but now I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna update you guys once a week or two times a week and nothing is happening. I'm like, when is she uploading? Hello, can you please come back? But nothing is happening. And I'm like, can you please come back? I love your videos. I love to watch your videos. Can you please update? This has gone on for maybe a year and a half now. And I'm like, okay, maybe I will unsubscribe then because you never put up content. And when you do, it's just boring videos when you say, I'm gonna come back and I don't need to watch that. Sorry, but I mean, I mean six videos a year, that's not a lot. Number six is sponsored videos. And I'm okay with sponsored videos. I think, hell yeah, go for it. I know that a lot of people actually don't like sponsored videos. And I think that that is bullshit because the, the money you make on YouTube is not a lot. When I see a video that is sponsored by someone that is a little bit smaller, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna comment because I'm like, go girl, you should do this. If it's something that you believe in, if it's something that you um, really enjoy, I'm not saying that you should take sponsorship just for sponsorships. I have had people, I mean, I'm not a big YouTuber, but I had people say like, you you can get this and this and this and this and this if you do this video or if you do that post on Instagram and I'm like ah no because it's not something that I believe in but I'm not talking about the sponsorships in general I'm talking about the hidden sponsorship videos there's a lot of things going on I know that um one person a guy that I'm following he said that he always declines when companies reach out to him and says that we want you to do a sponsored video but you can't say that it's a sponsored video in the video and he's like, well, but can I put it in my description? And they are like, yeah, 
he takes that sponsorships, but he declines them if he can't put it in the, um, in the description. And I'm like, well, you should state it in your video that this is a sponsored video. I don't care about you putting it in the description because not everyone reads the description. I don't even think that 5% or 10% reads the description. So it's, it, that's very, I don't think that that is good at all. You should state it in the video. The seventh, and last reason when I'm unsubscribing to people is when they are lying to me. And I am subscribed to people that I trust. Sometimes I'm, I'm subscribing to someone that I'm like, okay, this person seems nice. I'm gonna subscribe so I don't forget about this person. And then I keep watching and my trust continues to grow. If I don't have any trust, I'm obviously going to unsubscribe. But I have had this happen to me a few times. A little bit of a background story. I watched this person, she had a YouTube channel and she had a vlog. And the most asked questions she got, sorry, it itches on my <laughs> foot. But she got a lot of questions about her teeth. Like, how do you get your teeth so white? And how do you do it? And she was like, yeah, I'm gonna come back to you with that. I'm gonna do a, a separate post about that on her blog. And I'm also gonna do a YouTube video about it. And I was like, yes, because I don't care what she's recommending, I'm buying it. This was before I was cruelty free, so I don't know if this specific product is cruelty free or not but she recommended dr blank the like teeth white whitening strips and i bought them because she had these amazing white beautiful teeth and she said the thing that got them so white was this product so i bought them and <clears throat> i tried them and nothing happened i mean honestly maybe it got tinsy bit whiter but i didn't notice i thought that my teeth were just as yellow and greasy as they were <laughs> before so i was like well what the fuck i mean okay probably they're just not the product for me but then i saw uh, we were in the same facebook groups at that point this was like uh two years ago or one a year ago or something uh, two years ago i think and we were in the f same facebook groups and there was a person that was asking about a product that's um brightening your teeth and she said a different product she was like this product i really recommend i have been using this for years and years and i really enjoy this one this is the only thing that that has ever worked for me and i was like okay just to, to just to i i know that this is a, an important fact she had a sponsored video with mr blank or dr blank she had to do a video and she had to do a post about it if she were gonna get it and she i think she had to update her instagram as well and when she said that, I was like, what the fuck? I fucking bought the product that you recommended. And now you're telling on Facebook that this is the only, like, it's another product is the only thing that has worked on your teeth. I was like, what the fuck, you fucking bitch? I spent my money because I trusted you. And now you are lying. I was like, okay, I'm gonna unsubscribe you everywhere. I'm not gonna read your blog. I'm gonna fucking unsubscribe to your fucking bad YouTube channel. And I'm gonna unsubscribe to your Facebook account or your Instagram account because this is not cool. That is the worst thing thing ever so i'm real sad that i'm gonna end it on that note but i think i'm done for this video it was a little bit longer than i thought but it was just so fun to just sit down and talk a bit and i hope that not anyone got offended and definitely check out ella's channel ella's channel in, in my uh, it's linked in my description box i will actually leave a link to it up here as well to her channel so you can go and check it out i really really like her so yeah but that was all from me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.